oh, some extra things I forgot to talk about. Um, to vary the, the flashing frequency to taste, you can obviously change the capacitor value. Bigger capacitors take longer to, to charge up for the same input current. You can uh, decrease the resistor values to make it go faster or increase it to make it go slower. You can see here I've used quite large values. Uh, having the MOSFET enables you to use very large values, which reduces the quiescent current while the thing's charging up. Um, although the actual voltage divider here for setting the base bias on the PMP is taking most of the current. Uh, these particular 110k resistors, I have a hell of a lot of them. I've got you know, thousands actually, this is just a small fragment of them. I use them in the 555 contest because I have so many of them. Also they're green, which is always a good thing for, uh, for everything Christmas related. Similarly, I chose the 1k uh, because it was an appropriate value and also because it's green. So if I'm probably going to build these things dead bug or just you know, point to point and uh, Actually, using the component value components to as part of the uh, the color of the device is always kind of cute. We will note also that uh, the particular value that I've used there, two meg two, has a red, red, green color code, which is again kind of appropriate for the season. Um, it is kind of important that the oscillators have their own lead and resistor, uh, otherwise injection locking will be a lot more problem, lot bigger of a problem for you. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, um, if you, you do build them in, with a BJT you'll find that the, see this 10 meg resistor here is, is quite large, in fact if you touch this with your finger or, or touch most parts of the circuits, because it's such a high impedance circuit, you'll upset it. That can be both a feature and a, and not a feature depending on what you want. You can have a touch sensitive one so that when you touch parts of it, your, 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 the hum on your body will, for example, I think I can probably do it here. You can see the hum on my body is making the uh, the LEDs come on and they're actually, I can almost see the blinking because of the flicker fusion frequency. I'm kind of awake today and I can almost see 50 hertz or depending on how strongly you couple to it, you know, you might just be getting over the edge. If, uh, if that's a problem, you can obviously use smaller values. It will change the discharge uh, pulse width a little bit because it's part of the, the, the discharge circuit. In the, in the BJT case, this will be about a kiloohm or two or three kiloohms just to, to essentially control the discharge. Um, it's very it's very forgiving. The, the actual values aren't that critical. The the base voltage shouldn't be too high or too low. It should be a reasonable value. Uh, you can get quite close to the, the the actual supply rail before the thing won't oscillate anymore. Uh, you can use a pot if you like. Stick a pot in here and vary it until you until you get a a, a rate and a uh, a voltage that you're happy with, but uh, just in the middle is fine. The, these resistors can probably be a bit larger. It, it depends on the gain of the PMP. I mean, this is just a 2N3906. Um, Again, it's not critical at all. You can pretty much use whatever bench sweepings you happen to have lying around and it will work. For, uh, for bigger loads, you can actually you know, obviously run bulbs, not only LEDs. Um, the 2N7000 I think is half an amp and a, an amp pulse or something like that, I'll have a look at the data sheet, but you can use much larger MOSFETs as well. The the gate uh, threshold voltage of the 2N7000 is about 2.5 volts, where some larger um, MOSFETs are around 12 volts, you might have to take that into account, if uh, depending on what your supply voltage is. Here the, the unit here is running off about 9. Uh, I can see if I vary the voltage, I think it's more obvious on the oscillators. It gets a little bit faster and obviously a lot brighter because I'm not changing the current limiting resistance. That's running off about 20 volts now and if I lower it they get dimmer and the whole thing stops around about 5 volts. Yeah, no, about 3 volts. So it's, it's not particularly picky. Um, it can run off just about anything. It, uh, it can also have very large delays with very large capacitors. It's particularly good with the MOSFET because you can use very high resistance values and it pulls almost no current until it actually flashes. You can build one of these things and um, sit it on the shelf and it'll run most of the year if it's, uh, if it's not flashing very often or the current pulses are quite small. Alright, have fun. Uh, they're, they're great circuits. They're useful for lots and lots of different things. You can adjust the uh, the duty cycle of, uh, of the different components, which is quite useful. You can run them, uh, you can generate audio, you can generate RF with them, lots of different things. This particular uh, configuration is a little bit 
more likely to work in all conditions than the the ones that we've seen in other episodes where I've just got the directly connected like a um, an SCR complementary pair. So they they're having the um, the extra load resistor and the resistor in here makes it much more uh, much more likely to oscillate if you're uh, you've chosen just random values. But again, Ohm's law is your friend. Um, nothing particularly important. Just uh, remember that these diodes do uh, you know, take about 0.65 volts but at very low currents they don't so that the threshold voltage will not be 0.0, it might be closer to 0.3 or 0.4 before there's enough regeneration in the circuit to slam it on quite quickly. That's really all there is to it. Uh, experiment transistors are not at all critical. The uh, higher gain ones are obviously better for more ideal switching but uh, BC547, BC557, 2N3904 uh, and 6 uh, 2N222 triple two, triple and whatever the, was it, was it 3, 6, something or other that whatever its um, PMP version is and again MOSFETs flip the circuit upside down, swap the devices around it's, it's not at all critical uh, just grab whatever you've got and it will probably work just uh, be aware of the current ratings and you don't fry anything alrighty, have fun <laughs>